Hey guys, so I have two videos of me already uh, playing the theme song from Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 1 and some people have been asking for guitar tabs and also some people couldn't hear it. So for those who could not hear it, you may have to buy external speakers, probably the ones with the adjustable volume because I haven't had any issues hearing it on my computer and I use a laptop. Um, for those who are doing guitar tabs or those of you who want to learn how to play this, um, I can only show you how to play the uh, first part that I've played in my previous videos. So to start off, you're going to need either an acoustic or an electric. And it could be any brand, doesn't matter. And you want to set your tuning to standard. So you'll have E, A, D, G, B, and then E. So I'm going to do this in different parts and then I'm going to play it straight through. So your first part, you're going to start on the B string, and you're going to go on the 7th fret. You're going to want to bend the 7th fret to give that, that creepy tone. And then you're going to go to your 3rd fret, then your 6th, and then your 5th. So it just sound like this. bend on the 5th fret. You don't have to, but you can. Okay, so for part 2, you want to go back to the 7th fret on the B string, and this is where it gets a little tricky, because you got to strum it three times. Best way to do it is up-down. Not. I mean, there's different ways you can do it depending on which way is faster for you, but you're going to have to go So you go 7, 9, 8. So it would sound like this. You gotta let that ring. I mean you can you can bend up and down on the eighth to make that type noise, otherwise you're just gonna go you do it like that if you just bend once. So bending up and down makes it sound better. Okay, so for part three, you're going to go on the ninth fret on the B string, eleventh on the B string, back to ninth on the B string, fifth on B string, seventh on B string, five on the B string, both on all on the B string, so it's going to sound like this. Bend on the 11th, and then bend on the 7th. And bend up and down on the 7th on, the on the very end because it sounds, it gives that creepier tone to it. Alright guys, so this is part four. This is the darker tone to the theme song, and you're going to be using your E and your A string. So to begin with, just put your hand away on top of the guitar, and for those who don't know what open is, you just strum the string. You don't touch any fret. Go over to your A string, third fret, Strum once, A string, 2nd fret, strum once, go to your E string, 3rd fret, strum once, now wait, strum one more time, then go to your A string, put your hand on your guitar, open, then go to the 2nd fret on the A string, then the 3rd fret on the A string, and then go down to your B string, to the 10th fret, 9th, and then 8th. So it will sound like this. And you can whammy it, you know, wiggle it up and down at the very end, you know, right here. 
to give that neat sound. Alright guys, so you're probably going to be doing the most hardest part, well, second hardest part, depending on how skilled you are with the guitar. And you're going to be using your G and your B string. So you're going to start off on the G string on the 7th fret. Strum once, ninth. then you're going to go to the 12th on the B string, then the 11th on the G, back to the 7th on the G, ninth on G, back to the 12th on the B, then the 14th on the G, then you're going to go back to the 7th on the G, 9th on G, 11th, or 12th, sorry, then 11th, then 7th, and 9th. So it's going to sound like this. Alright guys, so now that you've seen how to play it, I'm going to play the whole entire song, well, from what I was able to teach you guys. That's it, and I hope this tutorial helped you guys out how to play this part, and I hope you guys were able to hear this better, and if there's any background noise in the background, I really apologize, but um, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope this helped you guys out a lot, and if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I'll be happy to answer them, and thanks for watching.